Republican and Democratic leaders in Hawaii put their political differences aside and condemned the violence in our nation's capital. Their main message, unity over divisiveness, so the country can move forward and heal. Manola Morales has more. In a show of unity, the leaders of both political parties released a joint statement saying violence and mob rule have no place in this country and called for protesters to stand down. Even though we have strong differences, this sort of uh, behavior is just unacceptable and should not be, you know, owned, should not be supported. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we're able to take that stand together. There's more that unites us than divides us. We ask for everyone to be safe and um, to remember that, um, you know, that we're all Americans first and um, to make sure that they treat each other with respect. <laughs> Images of the violence inside the hallowed halls of the U.S. Capitol drew disbelief among the political leaders. Political analyst John Hart is shocked that it could happen in a place considered one of the safest in the country. It's just extremely tragic to see how many of these people who are supposed law and order advocates have been moved to violence against with the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden two weeks away, there are now concerns about public safety for the event. Local party leaders are calling for a peaceful transition. We'll let the whole process play out, and whatever happens on the end, we are a country of law and order. There have been a lot of passions and a lot of disagreements and divisiveness, and it's time to come together. Hart says the ceremony will likely be held as scheduled, but expect more security precautions. This was going to be a pretty virtual inaugural to begin with. That might even be more virtual now. But the whole idea of having to inaugurate the president of the United States in secret, you know, we're the country that used to tell everyone else how to run their elections. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.